Master Witcher, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. Geralt, here at last. Dandelion? What the hell are you doing here? I'm not here. I'm a figment of your imagination, because you really want me to be here. Brought you a housewarming gift. It's also an illusion. How do you like it? You shouldn't have. Really, not everyone likes seeing you first thing in the morning. Come on, don't be dramatic. This is the guest room. If you ask me, it belongs here. Fits this space like a warm glove. Now for some serious business. If anyone asks, I'm not here. Last time I was in Beauclair, admittedly enjoying myself, my honorietta, that is, the Duchess, got a bit carried away and banished me on pain of death. Wouldn't want to ruffle her feathers again. Wise, especially since she's been through quite a bit recently. I've heard some rumors, but I'd love a first-hand account. Does it have the makings of a ballad? Well, going to show me around? Tell me the story? Of course. Let's go. Luckily, Siana made up with Anarieta. Seems to have abandoned her plans. She's locked up now, awaiting sentencing, really. Most think the Duchess will forgive her. Might take some time, but... What? A story? Seems I missed quite a lot. <sighs> Shame I didn't write here with you. Though, truth be told, had my hands full back home as well. How are you, old friend? Not well, unfortunately. After you left Novigrad, this one day, Priscilla was attacked. In the street. She was wounded badly. Took a long time to recover. Luckily, she's better now. What are you talking about? Who the hell attacked her? Still looking for the bastard who hurt her. Once I find him, he'll regret what he did. Regret the day he was born. Sorry, Dandelion. Sorry I wasn't around. You've got your own problems, your own priorities. Can't expect you to be at my side whenever anything goes wrong. Besides, it's Priscilla. So I need to handle this. How's business? You and Zoltan still have your tavern? Or has he embarked on some new venture? You know him. We'll share a jug of mead and he'll go on about some new plan he's got. Nothing ever comes of it. So, we're still there. Recently, we discovered Novograd's largest wine importer was a lying cheat. Watering down his wines, but so clever You'd never taste the difference. So how'd you figure out he was up to something? This one day I was feeling down in the muck. Decided to lift my spirits by, well, getting a little drunk. Actually, replace a little with really. So I knocked back a bottle, nothing. Then another. Maybe a slight buzz. Might not be a lightweight anymore. Could be those years of training have finally paid off. Come on! It took me five bottles to start seeing double. I thought, huh, might just be a weird day. So I tried the same thing the next morning. Exact same result. I told Zoltan. He tried it and confirmed my findings. So we decided to ask the importer some tough questions. The man cracked. I threatened to tell everyone about his trickery unless he gave me a discount. Plan to stay long? Don't know yet, but might stay a little while. I've always loved Beauclair. The place is made for poets. What'll you do here? 
City's full of knights errant, and they all want ballads immortalizing their deeds. Get this, I've already been approached by a knight who spent years battling the weather. Says he's got a real bone to pick with gusty storms. Battles the weather? How's that work? Dunno. Promised to show me when the time was right. There's another who's vowed to move a mountain that's blocking his ailing mother's view of the sunset. So he's moving it. One stone at a time. Sole worry is that his mama won't live to see him finish. <laughs> You're right. Prime ballad material there. Glad you came. We'll have some good talks. See you later, Dandelion. See you, Witcher. <laughs>